Good morning. This video is probably going to be a the state of this place video in which I'm going to take a tour where I'm at this place and uh, what I've been generally up to. I think this particular video I'm going to show the rooms that I've already finished such as the kitchen and five of the six upstairs bedrooms. Um, probably not going to be very detailed. Um, I've been somewhat sloppy in videoing myself. It's still a bit weird to me. So where does this all come from? My wife and I bought this place about two years ago, or more near enough, and I knew straight away that there was a lot of things that needed to be done. And uh, for various reasons, I decided to do most of them or whatever I could myself. And I think at work I was probably going on and on about how I was doing this and how I was doing that and um, the shape that the place was in. And some of my colleagues were, were saying, why don't you put it on YouTube? They reckon there's um, you know, DIY channels or home improvement channels from the UK and from the US, but uh, very little from Ireland. I should also say that I have no previous DIY experience, like none whatsoever. I'm sort of guessing my way forward. I have a rough idea of what needs to be done, and then I try and find ways to do it. And this can be me looking things up on what, YouTube, or FaceTiming my dad over in Germany, who's done a lot of home improvement on his and my mum's place. Alright, that's enough of me rambling. On with the door. This was the house on the day we moved in. It has a 114 square meters footprint, 190 square meters of living area, and sits on a 0.61 acres or 2.4 square kilometers site. Now the kitchen was an absolute mess when we got the house, and it had to be the first room to be renovated and working on in the weekends and after my work shifts it took me about two months to complete including the plumbing and the electrics. This is the kitchen as it looks today. It's yeah, almost livable. For the upstairs bedrooms, I started small and practiced my reflooring theories on a guest room. And for the reflooring itself, you always start with the strip out. Simple enough. These four bedrooms here have a total area of uh, 40 square meters and I want the price tag of the reflooring per square meter out to about 76 euros per square meter. Now removing cross braces is an absolute shit job and probably my least favorite part of the whole reflooring process. Now because the old floor wasn't level, um, I assisted the joists that had um, sagged or warped and weren't level anymore with new joists and these were 9x2s with 3.6 meters length. After all the joists were in, I sound insulated the underfloor and I used um, two layers of 100ml rock wall slabs.
further sound dampen the floor and reduce vibration traveling through the floorboards into the walls. I put batten strips on top of the joists. These uh, batten strips are 5mm thick, closed PE foam self adhesive strips. For the floorboards, I used 2m40 by 60cm by 18mm OSB sheets, tongue and groove, uh, to make sure that they were all snugly connected with one another and to spread the load evenly across them. Now with the first layer of floorboards in it was time to um, finish and pack out the open wall again with 100 mils of rock wall slabs. I then close it all up with two layers of plasterboard to give it more thickness, density and hopefully more sound absorption. To further reduce vibration in the floorboards, I use Jiffy Foam, 3mm thickness, um, between the first and the second layer of OSB sheet floorboards. The second layer of floorboards is exactly the same type of OSB sheet as the first, um, only installed directly perpendicular to the first layer to ensure that the load is spread as evenly as possible. With all the floorboards in place, it was time to uh, reinstall the dividing wall between um, my daughter's room and the hallway. Because there wasn't uh, a lot of space, I used 2x2 instead of 2x4 for the framing. And again, two layers of plasterboards. And of course, I packed the wall in with 50mm um, rock wall slabs.
all the floorboards are in and uh, all the walls are plastered it's time to paint you can do this yourself or get some help if you can I then used a three millimeter vapor barrier underlaid it as sealed around the walls before putting down a laminate this again perpendicular to the last layer of the floorboards followed by the square boards furniture. To get to this point from no floorboards and working only on weekends and the occasional day off took me about eight months to complete and each of these rooms probably contains between one and three thousand euros worth of IKEA furniture. Anyways that is it for this little introductory tour that is the state of this place. If you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching and catch you in the next one. Bye.